In this week's video, I want to give you a few things, but first I want to start off with giving you a few tips on how to break down a sheet of plywood without a table saw. So I've got my circular saw out here and I've got a, a level that I'm riding against. I don't have a track saw, I need one, but I'm using this level and as you can see it's a four foot level but I'm cutting down an eight foot sheet and I've got a screw in the end of that level that is in the right place to not move when my circular saw is pushed up against it. And so then I can just go ahead and rip the full sheet all the way down. Uh, and as you can see, I did not adjust the depth of my saw, so I cut my two befores in half. So now I'm going to get ready to cross cut the sheet of plywood. Now I'm using an ultra fine 60 tooth blade on my circular saw, which is perfect for uh, sheet goods as of pure bond plywood. And so this will not cause it to chip out or anything. If you use a blade that has 40 teeth or so, um, you're going to have some chip out. So make sure you have the right blade. So now I'm adjusting the depth of my circular saw to where I don't go all the way through the plywood. And here is a tip here. When you are cross cutting, put a 2x4 under the exact area you're going to be cutting. And when you get done, it won't fall. So as I get through, I can just lift it off of the 2x4 and I'm good. So as you can see it here, it stayed where it was supposed to. And when I'm done, I can just lift it and move it. So that is an easy way to cut off a, a, any sheet of plywood um, is to have, use two by four. Now, if you have a small piece on the end, just cut it, let it fall, no big deal. But the bigger pieces you want to hold on to or put two by fours under where you're cutting so they have some support. Now, what am I making? I'm making a modular shop storage system. Now, this is interchangeable and don't laugh when I show you this, but I used to have a workbench along the right side here. And it was basically an eight foot, maybe a, I think it was 12 foot actually, all the way down the length of that wall. I had a bunch of stuff on that lower shelf and a bunch of stuff on top. And it was just not organized. So in, in this other little area, this is where I had a desk. And this is where I did a lot of my editing and my computer work and that kind of thing and so it really just took up that whole corner and with the bench it just wasn't ideal so now with a clean slate this is what I've come up with uh, and this little nook that I've got now that I've taken out the the old bench and the desk I'm gonna be adding in my modular shop storage system and I've got enough room here to where I can put two side by side so I'm going to have a bank of drawers on the left and a bank of drawers on the right. So now I'm going to have enough room to put all of the tools that were on the wall and everywhere else in the other bench inside these drawers. So they're going to be nice and organized and compact and I can go get to them really easily. So the beauty of this is I'm going to add in an upper shelf. So I'm going to have an upper shelf on top on the right hand side that's going to be made up of smaller drawers. So in this area, I can store screws or brad nails or anything that I want to in these, not smaller drawers, but they're shallower drawers. So these are going to, these are going to be on top and it's not going to come all the way out to the edge of the lower cabinet. So now on the left hand side, I've got room for any kind of bench top tool. So whether it's a bench top drill press or miter saw or bench top band saw whatever it is you've got room here or don't do the upper shelf and now you've got a really large surface area to work on a work surface with all these drawers under it so it's pretty handy i'm really excited about this it's going to be, give me a lot of organization and a lot of options but let me show you how this is really going to look so this, this is the SketchUp drawings, uh, and this is one of the banks of drawers. So this is the left-hand side. Now, I can add in another one on the right and have that large work surface that I mentioned, or I can stack these on, one, on top of each other um, if I wanted to. Like the two lowers can be on top of each other to where you have room, um, you know, in the corner of your shop for anything else. Uh, this is just for larger drawer space, I guess you could say. 
Another option is to have the two lower cabinets and the up and an upper cabinet, uh, which is probably going to be what I do. Uh, or another option is to just go all out and have two of the lower cabinets and two of the upper cabinets and just quadruple your drawer space and storage area. So let me just give you an idea. This is, these are real pieces here. Um, this is the back of the cabinet that I'm going to be installing. And this is going to be one of the drawer bottoms to kind of give you an idea of what these real panels are going to look like and the size they're going to be. So anyway, this is just kind of a, a design video to kind of show you my process and what I'm doing. If you're interested at all in learning how to do SketchUp or drawing your own uh, plans or designing your own shop projects, I've got a link down in the description that will take you over to uh, an online course that I offer. It is SketchUp Basics. And I teach you the just fundamentals of how to work that and how to take those drawings and implement those into plans. So guys, thanks for watching. Stick around for the build and the tour of this final project. And I hope you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And be sure to check out the website article link down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.